Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we're joined by Ollie Stimpson, who's the Strategic Business Development Manager for Australia and New Zealand at CyberArk. CyberArk provides specialist identity security solutions and a managed service provider or MSP program. Ollie joins us today to discuss the importance of MSP programs and how MSP partners are experiencing success with CyberArk. Thanks for joining us today, Ollie, and welcome to the Jam. Hey, morning, Jesse. Great to be here. So, just to start off, who is CyberArk and what is your role there? Yeah, so starting off with me, my, my name is Ollie Stimson. I'm Strategic Business Development Manager at, at CyberArk here in Australia. I've worked with CyberArk on and off for the past seven years. I used to be based in the UK, but, but since the start of this year, I've, I've been based in Sydney, covering the Australia and New Zealand region. And I, the main part of my role is, is leading the, the MSP program for CyberArk locally and region. CyberArk is, is the leader in identity security. That means we help organizations secure all the types of identity they have. That means all the accounts, credentials, secrets, passwords, whatever we want to call them. And we focus on that because securing those identities is, is really foundational to, to any security program. The reason is attackers will always look for identities, right? 80 to 90% of, of cyber attacks, depending on what you're reading, will revolve around the theft of a credential at some point in that attack chain. So it's really foundational that organizations put special controls in place to secure identity in all its forms. And this has been CyberArk's business for the past 20 years or so. So can you please provide an overview of your MSP program? Yeah, absolutely. So CyberArk's always worked with partners throughout our 23 years in business, right? We've always worked very closely with the channel, but our MSP program is, is a, a special way of, of working with MSPs, managed service providers around the world, allowing those partners to own the licensing, own CyberArk's technology, and, and build it out into a service they can offer to their customers, large and small. So it's a really key route for us to, to help address these challenges, to help organizations secure their identities. CyberArk started in 1999 and we've been focused on that. We used to call this privileged access management or PAM, privileged access, there's all sorts of terms for it. But recognizing that at the core of security, right, a threat actor will always go after some kind of password or credential and locking those down, right, securing that access is a, is a foundation to reducing risk. And, our MSP program just extends that vision, right? It, it allows organizations of any size to, to work with CyberArk to use our technology and to MSP partners are absolutely the glue that, that holds the two of us together. The, the reason we focus on this, right, is as I say, unfortunately threat actors focus on identity. You know, we see that credentials are, are regularly stolen, identities are compromised, and off the back of this, auditors and insurers are, are, are recognizing this risk as well. So. You know, here in Australia, we've got the Essential 8, right, where controls like multi-factor authentication, restricting admin privileges and application control are really seen as the, the best practice and foundational. But broaden that across the world, we, we see cyber insurers asking more and more questions around how identity is being secured. And for us, managed service providers are a key route for us to answer that question in the market. And I think you've kind of touched on it already, but you know, why is it important to have a, an MSP program? Yeah, it, it is super important. Let, let's just take a moment to emphasize that, right? This is absolutely at the core of CyberArk's business these days. And um, the reason it is pretty simple, right? Attackers continue to innovate. The, the risk of a, it going wrong for an organization is rising, unfortunately. And you know, it, it takes a best practice approach in CyberArk's view to, to reduce that risk and to beat attacker innovation. So MSPs are, are essential to that, right? We, we hear of organizations facing more and more challenges. There's a, there's a global recognition that there's a, a real lack of talent and cybersecurity professionals being increasingly hard to recruit and, and retain. So when organizations, large and small, face, all face new challenges, they, they will make that call. And, and typically the first call they make is to that trusted partner, to that managed service provider. It's already such an integral part of their business. And, 
Cyberarc recognizes that, and that's why it's so important we have this program, right? We, we need to work with these managed service providers so that when they, they get that call, when that customer says, we've had an incident, we've had the auditors come in, we've had insurers ask, start asking difficult questions, hmm. they're then able to turn around and say, well, we, we work with a market leader in this place, and um, we need uh, to ultimately recognize that, particularly in the mid and commercial tiers, we've seen a huge almost democratization of the risk, right? You know, cyber insurance is, is increasingly widely adopted, but increasingly hard to, to maintain and, and to renew each year. And it's those tiers where we really focus, right? We're looking at the mid and commercial tiers of organization across Australia and New Zealand because they turn to an MSP, right? They'll turn to an MSP. They recognize that the, the threats that are out there require that external knowledge. They require that trusted partner and they require someone they've worked with before to get the job done. And that's the value that CyberArk sees in its MSP program, working with those managed service providers to work with customers who really are having a tough time at the moment. So how can MSPs protect not only themselves, but also their customers from malicious activity? Yeah, that's, that's a great question. Um, we've talked a little bit already today around how customers can be protected and how an MSP can help with that. But of course, an MSP is, is also a target for a threat actor, unfortunately. You know, one of my, uh, my colleagues came up with a phrase around the doctor's gloves, right? So, you know, you might trust the doctor, you might trust the surgeon to, to operate on you to fix what's needed, but you know, you'd still want them to be wearing gloves, right? You'd still want that layer of separation. Mm. And unfortunately, sometimes that doesn't exist and, and threat actors will make, make the most of that, right? We, we saw earlier this year that the ACSC in Australia and the NCSC in New Zealand issued a joint statement along with their Five Eyes partners, noting how managed service providers were, were being used as a, as a way to get in and an initial point of compromise to target organizations far and wide that they were working with as customers. We also saw, right, that the, the Kaseya incident of last year, we saw that MSPs were targeted as a route to spread ransomware into their end customers, resulting in, in huge devastation. So it's only natural that everyone in the industry turns around and asks what they can do, and, and we see MSPs recognize that their, their risk is, is rising too, right? So we definitely get calls from MSPs saying, well, our customers are asking what controls we have in place. They're asking about the secure administration practices that we have. Their insurer wants to know how we access their environment. And again, it's because you know, we recognize that threat actors will be asking those same questions. Just recently, Verizon have, have noted that of the, the data breaches they investigate as part of their investigations report, nearly 50% of them actually start with the theft of an identity, the compromise of a credential. Mm. It's only natural that MSPs will, will naturally turn and say, well, our customers have this risk. It's probably something that applies to us. And we find that they're often turning to CyberArk and saying, well, you know, as the leader, what, what do you recommend in this space? And just following on from that then, you, you know, what are some examples of the success that MSP partners um, have experienced with CyberArk? Yeah, so uh, we, we launched our MSP program globally in, in 2019. We, we've seen tremendous success with that. You know, we, we see across the security industry that MSPs are becoming that, that first point of call. But actually, we're, we're really lucky here in the Australia and New Zealand region that in Australia, we have our, one of our global standout MSPs, and, and that's an organization called Blue Apache. So Blue Apache are a Melbourne-based business. They have offices around Australia and actually in the wider world as well. And they started working with CyberArk in, in 2021, early last year, on that understanding that they too had identities, they too had administrative accounts that ultimately posed the risk. And customers were asking, well, what steps are you taking to reduce that? And, and what best practices do you have in place? So we, we started that discussion with them. But what's really worked well and where they've really shown their innovation is they've been able to use CyberArk's technology and, and actually build services around it and then offer that out to their customers. And I think a really good example, something that you know, our global business has noted of the capability of using CyberArk's market leading technology, local innovation and expertise to create that kind of apples to apple pie model where ultimately the technology is just a way for this MSP to go out and deliver a really innovative service to market. Of course, so off the back of that, they actually won a 
our global MSP of the year. I think we both recognize the importance of securing identity, but for me, it's great that we've got such a leading example right here in, in the ANZ region. Well, thanks so much, Ollie, for joining us and talking a bit more about why MSP programs are so important and how CyberArk is um, helping their MSP partners to experience success. Thanks for having me.